Remember to subscribe to our channel, and click bell icon if you like our videos. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Do you want to run your data science project with a GPU or TPU for free? Why not, right? So, it's gonna be a short video for today showing you some tips and how to simply set up uh, Google Colab to run your machine learning, deep learning, neural network, or whatever project with a GPU or TPU for free. Okay, so let's get started. First, um, open up the Google Colab with your Google account. Okay, so you sign in your Google account first and get into Google Collab by searching or uh, just adding a shortcut for it, just like I did here, okay? Then you can open it efficiently uh, next time. Let's start with opening a new notebook. And then uh, you can write your Python call here. Okay, just like you do in Jupyter Notebook. You can add both code and text from here, right? Next, um, let's connect to a GPU. Go to runtime. Change runtime type. The default setting here is none, which is your local CPU. You can change to uh, GPU or a TPU. Okay, so save. And um, you can check the information here, uh, ensure the connection without any issues, all right? All right, let's give it a name, okay? I use demo for today. Oh yeah, as you can see the icon here, um, it's a Google Drive icon, right? which means Google Collab will automatically uh, save your code in your Google Drive, okay? However, however, uh, listen, um, it's important to know that all the config checkpoints or other settings and the result that generated during training or fine-tuning phase will be removed, uh, cleaned up uh, if, you know, somehow the connection is off because those data just stored in the memory, not your Google Drive, okay? So be careful. Um, once you get a chance, uh, click the icon here. Connect to Google Drive, you know, to mount your uh, Google Drive to Collab and copy and or drag your trend or fine-tuned models to your Google Drive and save it. All right, and in my experience, um, sometimes the connection of Google Collab is not that stable, okay, especially in the daytime. Eventually, if you want to share your notebook with your teams, you can go to the share icon here. You can share it uh, by adding the Gmail of the person you want to share with, okay, or you can just share a link with them just like you do in Google Drive. Additionally, um, you can set the person you are sharing as a, you can see here, as a viewer or editor from the drop-down list here, all right? All right, hope this video can help you start your first project with Google Collab, okay? If you like our videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video and thanks for watching. Subscribe and click bell icon for latest updates.